Hey viewers, welcome to Ultimate Guide. Today we are going to discuss how to generate Fibonacci numbers using array and without using array. So let's begin, let's dig in. So at first we are going to write the program without using array and then we will write it using array. So let's write C program to generate Fibonacci numbers without using array. As the Fibonacci numbers are all integers, so we are going to declare the variables as integer. Let's write integer f, f1, f2, f3. Now print star, comma, how many terms within inverted comma. Then read star, comma, n. f1 is equal to 1 and f2 is equal to 1. Now we will print the value of f1 and f2 one by one. So we will write print star, comma, f1 again print star comma f2 now we will use the do loop so let's write do 1 f equals to 3 comma n comma 1 here this first one represents the level number and f is the running variable which will run between 3 and n it will not exceed the value of n and this one means the increment if the increment is 1 then we won't write anything we will just write do 1 f equals to 3 comma n and it will automatically increment f by 1 up to n now we will simply write f3 equals to f1 plus f2 f1 equals to f2 and f2 equals to f3 here f3 will take the value of f1 plus f2 so now what's the value in f3 Yes, it is 2 because the value of f1 and f2 is 1. Now f1 equals to f2 and f2 equals to f3. So f1 will take the value of f2 and here f2 will take the value of f3. And this process will continue until f reaches n and it is the function of this two loop. Now we will have to print the value of f3. So we will write print star comma f3. Now here is the importance of the label number that we have discussed earlier. We will have to write the label number between this 1 and 5 column. And then we will have to just write continue here. Yes, like this. Now let's complete the program. Pause. Stop end now let's run this program so it's asking how many terms i'm entering 10 terms yes it is the fibonacci series now we are going to write the same program using array so we will just change the title just remove without now we are ready to write the program using array so erase everything except the title so before writing the program using array we will have to know there are two types of array that we will use one is one dimensional and the second is two dimensional array today we are going to discuss about one dimensional array and we will use the one dimensional array in this program so we will write dimension f20 within parenthesis here f of 20 means that f will create 20 consecutive memory location under the variable name f now write print star comma how many terms less than 20 within single inverted comma now write read star comma n f of 1 equals to 1 f of 2 equals to 1 print star comma f of 1 again print star comma f of 2 now again we will use the do loop do 1 k equals to 3 comma n and here f of k equals to f of k minus 1 plus f of k minus 2 here f of k will first contain the value 3 because here k is 3 so f of 3 will equal to f of 3 minus 1 plus f of 3 minus 2 that is f of 3 will be equal to f of 2 plus f of 1 and we know what's the value of f1 and f2 so what will be the value of f3 it will be 2 
so f3 equals to 2 now we will write print star comma f of k and we will write our label 1 here and then continue now just write pause stop end now let's run this program so here you can see it's asking how many terms less than 20 so we'll again put 10 yes it is our required Fibonacci series thanks for watching this video if you like this video then please do like comment share and subscribe we really need your support bye bye and have a great day